So for those of you who watch my videos, uh, you know, UCLA football's been done with for a while now, but I didn't want to talk about UCLA football players headed to the NFL and in the NFL draft. Uh, who could be selected uh, out of some of the seniors and guys who have declared early? Uh, of course, for UCLA, there's only one guy, but I wanted to continue USC 11H tradition for a video series and talking about players from your own team going to the NFL. At least given some brief scouting report on that. So first off, out of UCLA, Brian Price. Probably the most familiar guy that's on the radar to all you college football fans. Very solid defensive tackle. Tennessee got to see him too. Uh, he, he was a beast of an athlete. Probably the only one of the only good people of Carl Durrell's last recruiting class. Uh, Brian Price was clearly a beast, and he left for, for good reason, uh, unfortunately. But he clearly was the best uh, player on UCLA last year defensively. He, he carried that run defense. There were times it was disappointing, but Brian Price did come through at times. So he is the best person. Hopefully he falls to the second round, maybe, but no, uh, for my creators to take him. But he could be a late first rounder or second round pick for sure. Another guy that is guaranteed to be drafted is Alteron Werner. He's known as ATV sometimes, and uh, he was pretty much your shutdown corner, cornerback. Alteron Werner was uh, really solid from the cornerback position. Uh, very similar to how Nandi Asamoah was when it comes to shutting down. He may not be that great as, as in greatness of Asamoah, but he was so good that he was not thrown to very much, and it was always the other side of the secondary that would get picked on when it comes to the cornerbacks. So, so uh, usually Sheldon Price or uh, Courtney Viney would be picked on from the opposite side, while Werner would shut down his receiver. He also has a good amount of pick sixes in his career. You can probably YouTube it easily and look him up. Other guys that could be drafted are the Bosworth twins, Corey and Kyle Bosworth. Uh, one was a defensive end, the other was a linebacker. Really solid on the front seven. Sure, our running team was not the greatest, but those two had the best work ethic and would be always hustling hard, no matter what, those two. Maybe they'll be taken in the late rounds, uh, maybe a long shot, but we'll see. The other guy that could be drafted is Reggie Carter. He's a middle linebacker. He was another star guy of the, uh, the defense, specifically uh, the linebacking crew. He was the head person. Decent at stopping the runs. Uh, I think he should be worth a mid mid round pick somewhere in the middle. Now on offense there isn't pretty much really anyone that should get taken. The only guy that has a chance is Terrence Austin. He was the return man for UCLA. Uh, he returned punt and kick returns. There was a point where he called a fair catch on the one yard line. That was that was his sophomore year, but that was a nightmare. He, he was the big play receiver at times when he was thrown to, and I think he was consistent enough to really uh, like him. So, Terrence Austin, probably the last guy who has a really a chance at getting drafted to the uh, NFL. Maybe the other long shots are tight ends, Logan Paulson and Ryan Moya. Both were possession guys. Ryan Moya did catch a touchdown against uh, Tennessee when in 2008. He might be the only one you guys are familiar with, but for sure. Brian Price and Alteron Werner will be drafted. I can guarantee you that. Price should be taken as late as the second round. Werner should be taken as late as the fifth round at the latest. As a bonus, for those of you who are still watching, I'm going to talk about a few Pac-10 players uh, that at least are notable. I can't name them all, but these are a few Pac-10 players I think that are worth drafting. For Arizona, I think the Arizona Wildcats have again and Rob Gretkowski. He was a tight end, very much like Jermaine Gresham. He was injured all of last year, and uh, he was the big play guy un under Willie Tuitama in 2008. 2009, he did not play at all. But he is leaving for the NFL draft early. He's projected to be the second or third best tight end in the class in the uh, this class, but he was a big playmaker. And uh, if you want a big playmaking tight end, Rob Gronkowski could be there. For Arizona State, they have a couple sleepers at wide receiver. A guy named Kyle Williams, he might have not done well in his last college game, but he was a solid receiver when it comes to 
be it possession wise. The other guy is Chris McGahey. And uh, Chris McGahey, he cut. He was also a consistent receiver. Arizona State did not have a good passing game under Danny Sullivan. But the receivers were a big strength of Arizona State's team last year. So Chris McGahey, I think, will be uh, under the radar. He should be. I would want him as an undrafted free agent or a seventh round pick. For the Oregon schools, of uh, Walter Thurman the third probably will get taken in the mid rounds. He was a shutdown corner. Uh, Sean Canfield out of Oregon State was a quarterback. You may say Pac-10 quarterbacks suck, but his efficiency was solid. Maybe he'll be taken in the late rounds. Uh, he was a left-handed quarterback, so people may not like those, but he was efficient, nevertheless. Yeah, Cal, you're all familiar with Javon Best, but in my opinion, he's a little overrated when it comes to at least being on the radar. He was talked about so much. I mean, he was injury-prone. That was the big factor of Javon Best and why he wasn't as uh, productive in his last year of college. But he'll get drafted probably in the late first round, early second round. Another guy from Cal is Tyson Alawalu, and uh, he's another under-the-radar linebacker. But his stock is going up, even though his production in college wasn't the greatest of all time. Also, that goes same for Sid Quan Thompson out of Cal, who's a cornerback. I considered him to be overrated, but he'll probably be taken in the mid-rounds. Out of Stanford, a guy, we all know Toby Gerhardt, will be drafted. I think... He's obviously a good power running back. You've probably seen tape of him because he was a Heisman candidate. But the other guy to talk about is uh, Sherman, Richard Sherman. And he was a very good cornerback, once wide receiver. But he was a converted cornerback, and I think he has some ability to get drafted, potentially. Uh, out of Washington, the guy named E.J. Savannah, who's a linebacker, I consider him to be very solid and productive. Unfortunately, I don't know anyone out of Washington State, and I'm sorry to say, but uh, that's how it goes. Of course, USC 1-1-A talked about his players, and I can't go down the line talking about all of them. And also, a couple, one San Jose State guy that might be mentioning work is Kevin Jurovich, who is a possession-wide receiver. I think he has an ability to get drafted in the late rounds, as well as a guy named Carl Iannaccio who is also a defensive line lineman. Those are the names you might be familiar with in the draft. I want to hear from all the other college football fans. Um, you know, Talk about your own guys headed to the NFL draft. Maybe give some uh, insight on that. I want to hear. But I'll see you guys later. Go Bruins, and good luck to all those who get drafted. Unless you're drafted by my hated five teams. You know, Look at my channel. I have hated teams up there. I don't want to see five specific teams take, take them. So, see you guys later, and go Bruins.